Wow, I'm Jacqueline Becerra. I am so glad that you are connecting today. And if you have not yet, share this content. It's early. Get your friends, your family, get them to tune in, get engaged. Let's build a strong community. The world needs strong people and you're the people to do it, all right? I wanna share with you, you know, City Church family loves you. We love you, my husband, Henry Becerra, myself, we love you. We want you to be part of the family. If this is the first time you're watching this, stay connected with us, let's grow, let's get strong together. And I always tell everyone, there, you never lose, you always win. Even if you don't feel like you are a winner, you are a winner. I want you to truly believe that from the bottom of my heart, that you are a winner and we love you and we want you to stay connected with us. Amen? All right, so let's get ready, get your pen, your papers ready, and let's get started. If you need a title for this, it is, I'm gonna give it to you, write it down, The Greatest Healer. The greatest healer that ever lived on this planet. The greatest healer on the planet, and that is Jesus. All right, let's pray right there where you're at. Lord, we're sitting with you, we're ready to learn, we're hungry to learn. We thank you that you give us the opportunity to, to invest into ourselves. We thank you, Lord, for your word that brings truth into our lives and make us a stronger person. In your name we pray, amen. Okay, so let's write the scripture, the text we're taking it out of. It's Psalms 147, verse three. I'm gonna say it one more time, Psalms 147, verse three, and it's right under there. It's posted, write it, right? Let's read. He heals the brokenhearted and bandages their wounds. So he heals the brokenhearted. You might not be brokenhearted now, but maybe you have in the past, or maybe you never know what for holds up in the future. We all at one point in our lives have been brokenhearted. We have been brokenhearted. We hurt, right? We're human. It's normal. It would be so abnormal that if you're 40 and you've never had your heart broken, that would be just so abnormal. I think you'd be like this alien from, from Pluto. Oh, I forgot, they blew up Pluto. <laughs> oh my goodness. But guys, you are not. Everyone has been through some sort of hurt or rejection or maybe criticized or maybe mistreated, whatever it is, right? God heals us in all areas. But we have to be intentional to bring God our circumstances. You see, we can be going through something right now, and if you don't invite God in, then he can't work within your mess or your circumstances. You have to be intentional to say, look, God, I can't no more. My heart is heavy. My mind is cluttered with horrible thoughts. I just can't do this right now. I can't deal with going in back to work. I just can't, whatever it is, you have to be intentional to bring God your circumstances. He is our physician. You see, when doctors, you go see a doctor and they try to rule you out, God will rule you out of some things. Whatever you're hurting, he will rule it out. He'll throw it out. Let's throw it out. Uh -uh. You don't got this, you don't got depression, you don't got anxiety, you don't got panic attacks, you don't have isolation, you don't have this oppression over you. He's gonna rule it out, like get the heck out because I'm the healer. He's the greatest healer on the planet, get that. When God heals you, let me tell you, when he heals you and restores you, you come out better than you were before. You do, why? Because now you're stronger. Now you know how to put the gloves on and get in that ring and fight and know who you trust in and believe in and know who's fighting for you in that ring. You know that. It's like David when he went down to fight Goliath. He didn't go on his own. He put his gloves on and he went into that ring and he faced this humongous, I mean, huge, huge storm. It was like a hurricane or a tsunami to him, right? Like a tsunami it was huge for David. But he went in that ring believing and knowing who was for him. So just like David, you got to go into that battle. You got to go into that circumstance. You don't go in, uh, if, if you're, let me give you an example. You go to a lake, 
Do you jump head first? No, you jump feet first. What does that mean? You jump feet first, meaning you're gonna stand where you're at in your circumstance. You're not gonna go head into your problem. You're gonna stand and go feet first, meaning that God is your foundation, God is your healer. God is, he, you, you've heard that scripture, don't give the devil a foothold. That's why your feet are very important because God has given us that foundation, right? Stand firm, stand strong, believe and see the salvation of the Lord, right? You have to stand strong and believe that he is your great physician. Even when we don't feel that our miracle is taking, if we feel like, oh my God, Jackie, well, why is this taking so long? It's not manifesting. Remember that he's waiting for you to call on him. You have to trust him. I can tell you from experience that God uses your darkest seasons to catapult you into your greater days. I'm going to say that again. God is using your darkest seasons, okay, because I've been through it. And who knows, I might go through it again right? But God uses our darkest seasons to catapult us to our greater days. So if you don't remember anything about this message, because I'm, I'm here, my goal is to encourage you, empower you to take something with you that you can apply this week. Just remember Jehovah Rapha, right? Oh, you're just old school religion. No, 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 no. It still works. He still works. Jehovah Rapha. The next time you feel, okay, I'm not starting off this day right, open up your mouth and just say Jehovah Rapha. You know what that means? It means the one who heals. Just say that. You don't know what to pray this week. You wake up Monday, they're already calling you from work and already saying you got to come see, the, see me in the office and you're about to get written up or maybe the pink slip or maybe uh, you're not going to get a good doctor's report. Maybe they, you woke up and your car is gone and they re-pulled it or you get a, a, a letter once you get home stuck to your door that says you're evicted. Whatever it is, you're just going to say Jehovah Rapha. Why? Because he is the one that heals when you are about to lose your mind, Jehovah Rapha, he heals, the one who heals. So it doesn't matter what is broken in your life today. God's nature is to bring complete healing to you. We all have some, some manner in need of healing at one point of our lives. And what is it? Let me ask you today. Do you need healing in your body? Do you need healing in your mind? Or do you need healing for your heart or your finance or maybe your relationship? What is it? In some manner, we all need it. In some way, we need it, whether it's today, tomorrow, or next month, or the beginning of maybe some of us started 2021 awesome, amazing, but we're not ending it right. Or what if you end it right and you're not going to start the new year right? We don't know what the future holds. We know that life is a contact sport. We're not exempt to anything. Even if you have a degree, money, car, house, wife, dogs, pets, fish, everything, it, we're not exempt to anything. Like at all. Things can happen to us. We live in this world. Whether you're a president or not a president, whether you're homeless or, or you're the prostitute in the Calle de Guadalupe, whatever it is, you're not exempt to anything. Life happens. But the biggest thing is that God is, our great, is the greatest healer on the planet. And you've got to trust him. You've got to trust him. So today, I'm going to declare, and I want you to receive this as you are listening. You are in a recovery mode right now. You will recover your mind. You will recover your health. You will recover your finances, faith, the hope that you thought you lost, those dreams that you thought just weren't going to happen. Or maybe you need to recover direction today. God can heal any stress. I want you to hear this. He can heal any stress, any torment, and any unrest that you have. He your past wounds become your future wisdom the moment you recognize that God is working behind the scenes. Remember that. Once you realize that you don't have to be shadow boxing or being the enemy's puppet 
and you step aside and let God, God, you're going to see God answer your questions. You will see your answers come sooner when your trust and your dependency is on God. That's easier said than done, Jacqueline. You're not in my position right now. I've been there. It's okay to cry. It's okay to be angry. It's okay if you have a punching bag, start punching it. It's okay if you just want to grab one of those stress balls and just watch a movie or listen to music while you're just pushing that ball because you're angry, you're upset, you're mad, you're hurt, you're rejected. We, it, you, it's okay. That is part of who we are. We, we, we get upset. Emotions are okay. God gave us those emotions. But we do got to get to a point that we don't stay like that for months or maybe years because then it becomes bad. So you got to, once you realize that you're not going to shadow box the enemy and become his puppet, you're going to step aside, trust God, and your answers will come sooner. Let me tell you, the scripture talks about God bandaging our wounds. God will wrap himself around your brokenness and protect the wounded area until you are strong and you're healthy and you're whole again. You got to make God your lover. I mean, you wake up in the morning and you sing to him and you cry to him and you tell him. And he will wrap himself around your brokenness until you are made completely whole. He is our restorer. And when he does a work of healing in our lives, it makes us better and stronger as we grow, right? Because eventually we all grow, meaning like within years, we're all going to grow, we become stronger. And if you're going through the healing process today, know this, you might be hurting during the healing process. God understands that hurt. He understands what betrayal feels like. He knows what it feels like to be rejected. He knows what it feels like to be looked down at, right? He knows what it feels like to be criticized or laughed at. He exactly knows, if you have experienced this recently, he knows what a Judas kiss feels like. He knows that. The healing might take longer than planned, but God is binding up your wounds. God is there for you. He's protecting you and healing you, defending you and healing you, restoring you and healing you, making you stronger and making you tougher. What you, need, what you need is not to cover up that pain, but to go after the full healing. We cannot put a mask on it. We have to run towards the full healing. And you might, you know, you might be in a verge right now of breaking a generational curse and not even know it, right? Because some of us, you ask, why am I always being attacked? Why? There's a reason why you're always being attacked. Is this a generational curse? That could be the reason why you're always falling into traps. You're falling into the same trap mama did, the same trap grandma did, the same trap great grandma did. You need to stay focused and not crumble with every hit. Trauma can be passed down generationally. Addictions can be passed down. Lust can be passed down, bitterness can be passed down, manipulation can be passed down, but guess what? Healing can also be passed down. You know you had that grandma that was strong prayer intercessor. Me, I can tell you I didn't have a grandma like that. I had to learn to pray for myself, right? I, I come from a background of family members that, no offense, I was Catholic. They didn't teach me that. It was whatever the church taught me I knew, right? I didn't have intercessor family. I, I don't come from that background. Now, and my husband comes from a, ho a house of pastor, pastor, you know, two pastors, but I didn't come from that. I had to literally, that's why I'm sharing my heart with you. I had to learn this on my own. And the only way learning it on my own was because I fell in love with this man named Jesus. Every red letter in that book, I have written it, I have read it, I have written it. You're saying, what do you mean written it? 
I have a journal. I write every red letter. So starting at the beginning of every year during the 21 days of fasting, guess what I do? I write every red letter. So we've been at 14 years of, of uh, fasting going into, I think, 15 or 16. I can't, lost count. But that's what I do during my fast. I write every red letter because that is who I truly fell in love with. And I had to learn everything, that he was my father, that he was my everything, that when I'm sad and mad and crying, I mean, sometimes I'm like, God, I can't take it anymore. When are you going to listen? And I'm like, God, help me. Are you there? You know, I get to those points. I'm human. I'm, I'm going to be transparent. Okay? I'm transparent because I really want you to fully understand. He is there. Even when you don't hear him, he's working behind the scenes. Trust me from experience, trust me. But guess what? Generationally, healing can be passed on too. So we all know life is full of circumstances and situations, and you and I cannot allow that to limit us anymore. I want you right before I close to understand, why don't you change your perspective? Change it. Why don't you change it and say, and start changing the way you speak? And say, I'm not bonded, I'm free. I'm not sick, I'm healed. I'm not weak, I'm strong. I, I will not lose, I am a winner. I'm free, I'm whole. God, let me tell you, you have to change your perspective and realize that God is the greatest healer on planet Earth. He is the greatest healer. He is the greatest healer of the whole universe. Because why? He is the creator of everything. Hello. So don't believe, you know, in the midnight hours and you're flipping through the channels and there's a man saying, 39, 95, you're going to get your healing. Don't believe that. Jesus is the greatest healer on planet Earth. All you have to do is call out to him. I want you to remember one thing before I close. God is the healer for woundedness the healer for the rejected, healer for those who are physically sick, hope for the despair, hope when you are discouraged, hope when you want to quit. Remember that. He is your keeper and protector when you are at your weakest moment. I want to encourage you this week, stay connected. I want you to share this content. I challenge you this week to share this content. Let's grow together. Let's become those fierce people that the world needs to see in action. Fierce people. Let me pray for you right there where you're at right now. May, the, may God bless you. May God strengthen you. May God's hand be all over your life. Shield you, protect you, guide you this week. Give you the right words. New week, new you. Be in power, be engaged, stay connected. Love God, love people, serve others change the world make a difference this week amen all right thank you so much generous givers as you are giving you see the information on the bottom of the screen as you give today i pray that god's hand will be all over your life all over your household he's right there when you're at work he's right there where you're working out he's going to protect you guide you defend you and he's going to replenish everything to the fullest Whatever the devil has stolen, God is going to replenish it to the fullest right now as you give. City Church loves you. We love you. We pray for you. In Jesus' name we pray. I'm Jacqueline Becerra. Until next week, we love you. We see you then.